What's good, YouTube? It's your boy D Money here, back with another banger video, man. And today, as you guys can see by the title, man, chosen ones. You're being prepared for every blessing you're about to receive. Before we start this video, guys, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. A lot of you guys are watching the vids, but aren't subscribed? Go to hit that subscribe button and it helps support the channel. Also, guys, we are doing a giveaway at 15k subscribers, guys. All you guys got to do is hit that subscribe button, hit that post bell notification. You win that like swimmer, you dig. Comment down below what you guys want to see next, and I got you guys. You guys have been showing me so much love, and I really do appreciate that. Now, before we start this video, guys, like I always state, take everything that I say with a grain of salt. My perspective might change a day, two days, a year from now. Who knows? We're constantly growing, and if you're not growing, what are you doing? Also, guys, I love hearing the stories, the messages. You guys are such a big inspiration. When I read the comments, I literally see the positivity, the growth. I literally have the best community on YouTube. And if you guys have something more personal to tell me, let me know on Instagram. I do respond. I might be a couple days late, but I do respond. And if you guys do not agree with what I'm saying, please, please let me know in the comment section down below. I'm understanding. I'm understanding. I got an open mind. This is an open-minded channel. My bad. Now, listen, my bad if I look beat. I just came from the gym. I ain't tripping. It is what it is. I really don't care. You feel me? Now listen, bro. A lot of y'all, bro. This video is for everybody. This video is for everybody. This it don't matter what you feel. Who, I mean, what you feel like you are, who you feel like you are. If you feel like you're a chosen one, if you know you're a chosen one, if you if you been, it don't matter who it. If you black, white, Mexican, Hispanic, uh, Dominican, Asian. It don't matter who it is, bro. This video is for everybody. You feel me? I don't discriminate. Not, not, not at all. Right? Now listen. Check me out. You're being prepared for what it is that you've been manifesting. You're being prepared for what it is that you're asking for. You're being prepared for what you've been praying for. Don't get it twisted. A lot of y'all have been putting in work. With hard work and dedication, eventually comes progress. Well, hard work and dedication eventually comes success. Some of you guys have been working on y'all's minds, y'all's body, and y'all's soul. Some of y'all have been praying for good health, for self-love, for genuine love, for genuine friendships, better income, less stress, better paying job, freedom to do whatever you want, to be able to go and travel wherever you want to go. For your business to take off. Whatever it is that you guys have been praying for, whatever it is that you guys have been manifesting in your life, it's coming. You've been prepared for it right now. And listen, everything that happens to you that you feel is bad in your life is not always a it's not always a, 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 a bad thing. Sometimes certain people, certain things need to happen in order for another something to come into your life. You feel what I'm saying? Like y'all, y'all, y'all literally be crying. We literally, I'm not gonna lie, I'm gonna say we because we literally cry over somebody that we lost. Friendship, relationship, don't matter who it is, but whole time you ask God to really give you something that you really wanted, something that you really needed. You know, you don't necessarily need nobody in your life, but you want people. You want that relationship. I don't need anybody, but I want people. I'm happy. I'm grateful for the people that I have in my life. Yes. I'm grateful for the people that I talk to. I'm grateful for the relationships that I've had. I'm grateful for the people that I've that I've encountered with. I necessarily didn't need those people, but the universe and God put you in that situation for a reason. They, they, you know, the, the reason why you, that relationship didn't work out is because somebody else was meant for you. The reason why, you know, this job, why you, you so stressed out at this job and, and you end up losing this job you know, because you, you complain about it all the time. you like, man, I'm so stressed out every single day before I even go into work. I feel like, bro, I don't even want to be here. Whole time, bro, you lost this job, but you ended up finding something better that was less stressful, paying you more money. Things happen for a reason. You all stressed out because you just lost this job, but then you get this phone call, but or you, you put in this application that you had put in multiple times before, but you had never gotten it before, right? So you lost this job, you, you lost this job, and you like, you know what, let me give it another chance. Let me give it another shot. And you did it, you, you, you secured that position. With better paying, with better benefits, better paying, you know, money, income. And it was all for a reason. You was being prepared for that. You feel me? Like I said, 
you lost out on that relationship. That person didn't work out. Y'all was always arguing. Y'all was always fighting. It was a whole bunch of, it was a bunch of, you know, hate, uh, manipulation, all type of stuff, physical, mental abuse for a reason. And we look at it, we be like, damn, bro, you have to go through all that for, for what? Shit, sometimes you be so, you be so blind to the fact that God got to literally put you through more and more hurt and more and more pain for you to realize, okay, bro, let me, let me learn to love myself. Let me learn, like, I don't need this individual. I'm not going to put up with everybody's bull unless they show me otherwise. If you're not showing me what I want you to show me, then there's no need to, you know, talk to you. You could be fine with a fat booty, uh... Beautiful face all this stuff. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna say I wouldn't probably try and I probably wouldn't do it I'm not gonna lie to you. Don't get it fucked up <laughs> Damn, I'm not gonna lie to you. I probably would do it But I probably would have done it. Let me just say that I probably would have done it nowadays I'm not even gonna lie to y'all bro I can't even I don't even <laughs> I don't know you know what I'm saying I don't know it's just it's, it's in that moment but I feel like I've learned like okay nowadays bro like you can't take certain individuals serious that's how I'm put it there's nothing wrong with me you know doing my thing but it's also like you can't take everybody serious that you come across you feel me you lost that job to be able to start your business you had money stacked up but you was too afraid to start it but now it's like oh man I gotta do this it was like, it was put right there in your face like you gotta do this or else you ain't making no money or you don't have no income. Whatever happens that's good to you or bad to you, preparing you for the situation that's about to come. You're about to receive that Mrs. Wright, Mr. Wright. You're about to get that better paying job. You're about to get, you know what I'm saying, um, um, lose that weight. You know, because some situations when you when you when you end up going to the doctor, right? Some situation you might have had. I'm not gonna. And it sometimes it be so it, it be so messed up to the point like it's like it's almost forcing you to. Y'all ever y'all ever had a situation where it's like it forced you to go make a change in your life? You had a heart attack and you realize, okay, bro, I've been eating all these bad foods. I've been putting all this processed food in my body. You know, I'm having. A, I don't had a heart attack, a stroke. I don't have whatever it is. You don't have some type of um, deficiency. Right? You don't have to go to the hospital for it multiple times. You on high blood pressure, pressure medication, high cholesterol, all type of stuff. And you like, bro, if I continue to go down this path, I'm going to end up not living, not, not being able to live my life as long as I possibly want to. And yeah, obviously, you don't have a, you don't have a, a set date of when you go, right? So I, I always tell people, don't be afraid of, you know what I'm saying? Don't be afraid because you can't control it anyways. But... What you can do is stop putting in the stuff that is meant to hurt you, that is meant to kill you, that is meant to slowly kill you and slowly drain you into your body. So you make that change. And that was nothing but God preparing you for a better life, preparing you for a healthier life. He shows you that if you continue to eat, you know what I'm saying, the universe shows you, God shows you. If you continue to eat all these foods or not go to the gym and not put it, you know, get that blood flowing, then this is how the rest of your life is gonna be. And it's gonna cut, get cut short by 20 years. And y'all probably like, bro, you exaggerate. No, I'm not. You see, the, 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 especially the United States, bro. We have the biggest obesity rate, the, 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 everything. We, we, people die and they sleep all day, every day because of the foods that they eat, because their arteries are all clogged up, because everything is all so messed up. And then, you know, we got the health system that don't really care about you. They just wanna profit from you. It's the biggest, it's the biggest scheme in the world. Everything that is happening to you is meant to prepare you for something later on down the road. Always remember that either good or bad, it was a lesson. It was, it was, it was the universe, it was God, it was your angels, it was your guardian angels, it was your ancestors trying to talk to you. Whoever you believe in, it was them. It was them trying to talk to you and tell you it was trying, they were trying to warn you or trying to show you if you continue to stay on this path, bro, this is what's going to happen. They'll give you little glimpses of it. The success. If you continue to work hard, this is what you, you saw that last month's paycheck, right? 
you, you, your business did this for last month, you see what happened? If you continue to go on, bro, it might fall off for a couple months, but if you continue to be dedicated and motivated and, 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 and inspiring, then this is what you're gonna have later on down the road. And it's also gonna prepare you, it's gonna also gonna test you too, to see if you're, gonna, if you're willing to give up because times is rough, because times is hard. You you say you got self love now, but trust me, you gonna get tested. <laughs> Cause that girl that's super bad, that's super fine, that ain't got shit going for herself. She gonna come around, and it's up to you if you gonna mess up your life. You know, obviously the kids don't choose their parents, but the parents choose each other, right? So if you choose the wrong woman, you choose the wrong guy. That's on you. You may not get another shot to find somebody else that's gonna help you out long, that's gonna love you and and yours down the road. You may not ever find that. It, it's, it's hard out here nowadays. You know what I'm saying? Most most people won't find that. Bro, flies all over here. You feel me? So man, listen, take care of your mind, your body, and your soul, man. You being shown, you being hey. You been you 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 literally have been shown. No, no matter if it was for a breakup, no matter if it was losing your job, no matter if it was, you know what I'm saying, something positive that happened to you. You had a good month of sales, it's preparing you for the future, it's preparing you for the, you know, what's to come. And you just gotta see it. Not with just these two eyes, you gotta sense it, you gotta feel it, you gotta, you know what I'm saying, from the soul, from that spirit. You feel me? So listen, man, take care of your mind, your body, and your soul. Go outside, get some sun, get some nature, drink y'all's water, eat y'all's fruits and vegetables, plant y'all's foods. If y'all can, if y'all can't, so be it. Just make sure y'all staying away from all that processed food. I know we slip up. It is what it is. But sometimes, hey, you ain't got to eat it every day. You feel me? You ain't got to eat it every day. You feel me? So listen, y'all been smashing that like button. I really do appreciate that, man. Let's try to get 300 likes on this video. We are doing a giveaway at 15K subscribers, guys. All you guys got to do is hit that subscribe button. Hit that post button notification and you went in like swimmer, you did. I got the pranks, I got the vlogs, I got what you need. All you need to do is subscribe to D. I'm out of here, man. Peace.